Hello, this is Miss Lally, and today is Tuesday, December 17th. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is my cabbage. Cabbage with holes. They had a couple of holes in it. But, um, goodness, look at that. So, all right, I'm trying to keep the extreme. Well, I mean, when it get down into the 30s, I guess this cabbage can handle it. Um, I don't know. I'm new to growing cabbage, but I figure I would protect the cabbage from the extreme cold, 30 degrees, hard frost. I mean, the leaves are doing great. But in the process of putting up my low tunnel, these buggers show up. So there must have been eggs on the leaves that I didn't see. And because being in the low tunnel, the temperatures are, um, I guess, decent for the cabbage worm, they come out. I mean, really? Yuck. Get off. Look at that. Just look at that. So the the low tunnel has come off of the plastic has come off because we're supposed to be getting some like rain come through, like rain and um very gusty winds, and then after this front passes by, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a 30 degree temperature drop because they say it's supposed to get up and think either the upper 60s or maybe 70 today in December and um so I decided to take the low tunnel off so the cabbages can get rained on and look at that I got surprised see what I'm saying I mean they just in here going to town holes just chewing look at that just chewing away at the leaves Okay. Can cabbage handle 30 degree weather? I guess. I don't know. 20 degrees if it gets down into the 20s during the month of December and January and February. That's January and February here in southeastern Virginia is when we really experience the cold. Um, when temperatures can get down into the 30s on the regular in the 20s um december kind of been flip-flopping past couple of years because i'll never forget that christmas eve it was 70 i think it was 73 degrees on christmas eve um so i think what i'm going to do is just leave this low tunnel down off and um see what happens because um i don't want i mean I, I would like to grow some cabbage but i don't want them to be full of holes so yeah i'm gonna leave it off because this is not working i mean i don't know i don't know like, when it come to gardening you live and you learn right i i don't know i gotta see i gotta play around see look at that So I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the low tunnel off, and uh, oh, I was come out here and see them green cabbage worms. They're over here. They're not over there. They are not over there. They are over here, and the temperature is probably decent for them inside the low tunnel at night for them to survive. So. Low tunnel's gonna stay off, and I'm gonna leave it like this because we're supposed to drop. They say we're gonna get down to the 30s, wind chilled into the 20s. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it like this. No cabbage worms over here, and they're not over there, just over here. So I'm gonna keep it like this and see what becomes of the cabbage. And of my cabbage, this is the best one. Look at that. 
Ooh, it's got some firmness to it too. At least to me, that's the best looking one. So, oh, I mean, the leaves are nice and big and pretty. So we'll see. We shall see. All right. Just wanted to give you a quick update on my garden. That was a shocker when I took the little tunnel off and saw some of these extra holes. It had, there were holes, but these are just extra holes. And I'm like, hold up. There's some activity going on. And I was wondering, could that be a possibility? Having a low tunnel up in the cabbage here, could the low tunnel provide um, a little sanctuary for pests that could make it through the cold, temp, cold, the cold winter? Well, now I see that's the case. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great day.